This is my second video of the Nintendo Switch being filmed with a flare thermal imaging camera. This time it is now in its dock and we have our TV screen here. And it looks like our inside temperature is about 68 degrees. The controllers look like they're about 70 degrees. The front of the Nintendo Switch dock itself is about 71 degrees. And we'll go to the top of the unit here where we can see that exhaust vent. And we're about 79 degrees. Now there's no game running on it right now. But I'm going to go ahead and hit the start for the game. And now let the game... I can catch any of the game being ran on the TV. We'll just kind of let it sit and idle. And I'll come back over here. And now we will focus our attention on that exhaust port on top of the switch. Now my last video I made this exhaust port got up to about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And right now, it's kind of hard to hold this thing up. And we're about a minute, well, we're actually less than a minute into this because the game hasn't been running that long. So yes, we're at 90 degrees already, and it's probably been about a minute into it. Now the Nintendo Switch itself has been fully charged to 100%, so we shouldn't see any type of heating issue with the battery being charged on this guy. But one thing you can notice, maybe I'll put the mic up to it as best as I can. This is a lot louder when it's in that docked mode. The fan, you can definitely hear the fan versus when it's in its portable mode. And it looks like we're about 96. And just to show we are still just kind of running the game. Please note if you see that it <clears throat> kind of stalls out, it's just the thermal camera itself readjusting to the temperature that it's picking up for calibration. So that's completely normal. Come over to the other side of the unit, 70. I mean, wow, it's gonna, it's definitely getting a little bit more warmer than what I was picking up while it was sitting in handheld. Now, let me see if I can get a better angle down in this vent. Oh yeah, so there we go. We are now at 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'll stick my... Yeah, there's... I mean, it's not going to burn you or anything by putting your hand on it. I'll go ahead and get a little bit more gameplay going by just kind of messing around here.
Looks like I'm picking up a 105. 107, 108. Yeah, we're getting some, we're getting hot now. <laughs> we'll look at the front of the Nintendo Switch. And this here, <clears throat> you can see the border, border where it sits in. This is the Nintendo Switch up here itself. And you can tell that the dock itself is actually not picking up really any heat. Like if I stick my thumb here for a second and then move it back, you can see where my body temperature made it just a little bit warmer on the dock but man this thing up here is glowing red hot now we're at about 110 degrees i think the highest we i just saw was about 111. i'm about six minutes and 25 seconds into this video and uh, yeah, that's a lot hotter than what the Nintendo Switch was in its handheld mode. Now, of course, when it's docked like this, it's going to, of course, go power crazy because the Nintendo Switch is actually now upscaling its gaming content to 1080p versus 720p that's on the tablet screen itself. And let's get back up in here. I mean, I think it's growing. It's glowing white. I think I'll go for one more minute showing this, and then I will actually pull the Nintendo Switch out of its dock. And we will flip it on the back side, not the screen side, but the back side, and we'll definitely get a reading there. And then I'll flip it around to the screen, and we'll see how hot it is in the front. I know a lot of people are complaining about maybe the heat is what's causing the screen, especially on the right hand side to kind of warp or peel out. People are saying maybe it's the heat because they use some type of adhesive to hold the screen into the unit. And the heat's basically making that, you know, glue or whatever they're using. And the screen is now coming undone from the front. So yeah, I mean, we're at 111, 113, wow. So yes, yeah, so this thing gets way more hotter when it's docked and it's dock. And like I said earlier, the battery was charged up to 100% before I put it in here and started this test. That way there's no heat coming from the factor of charging up the battery because batteries do get warm when you charge them up. But if that was the case, this side would be getting way more warmer because this is kind of the area where the battery is in the Nintendo Switch. And then over here on the right hand side is all of the components. Let me get one more top reading real fast and I'm going to go ahead and just pull this thing out. 113, 114, 115. Ooh, yeah, that's nice and hot. Ambient temperature, it's about 70 degrees. And now I'm going to pull the switch out. We got the game. Ooh. 93. 92. 92. And you can tell the left hand side where the battery, you can tell where the battery pretty much sits too. Where this nice cool zone is. But now let's take a look at the back. Let me flip it around in my lap here. Oh yeah, so way hotter than what it was in its portable mode. I mean, we're, I mean, yeah, 100, 102, that's the hottest spot right there on the Nintendo Switch. You can definitely see where the battery is. Then we got this intake vent, 95, 
Please note this is in Fahrenheit, not Celsius. I'm filming this from the United States. And we'll go to the top one more time. And you can tell just having it out of the dock, temperatures have already dropped about seven degrees. Well, if you like this video, like, subscribe to my channel. If you don't like it, hit that thumbs down button. But this is the Nintendo Switch when it was docked. Thermal imaging camera by Flare. Shot with the Cat S60 rugged smartphone with built-in thermal imaging by Flare.